Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, March the 18th, entitled, More Blessed. Now, Sunday morning we talked about uh, tithing, and uh, we talked about in a balanced understanding of tithing that there is blessing. God said, if you're willing to give, I'm going to give it back to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured back into your lap. And there were several other passages. But a lot of times when we think about blessing, and we think about tithing or giving, we think about financial blessing. And that's a wonderful thing to get uh, some financial blessing in our life. Nobody's going to argue with that. But there are other kind of blessings that happen when we give. And this passage in Acts 20 highlights that truth. In Acts 20, 35, it says, In everything that I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must keep helping the weak. Remembering the, wor the words of the Lord Jesus himself who said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Now, every once in a while I share that passage. And in our humanness, in our human understanding, we go, Seriously, right, great sell. Yeah, I hope somebody believes that. It's more blessed to give away than it is to receive. Are you serious? And yet, over and over, I find that I get more joy out of giving things to my kids than anything they're going to give me. I get more pleasure out of helping another person than I do in just getting another toy for myself. All toys tend to only bless for a very short amount of time. And then we get used to them or they get old or they corrode, like Jesus said. Things that we store up on earth, they moth and rust eat them, they corrode and they disappear. That incredible car that I just loved when it was brand new, when it's 10 years old, is just transportation. Now, it's very interesting. In the book, Stumbling on Happiness, they did a lot of neurological testing on people to see how they reacted and what truly satisfied, what really brought real genuine satisfaction in their life. And one of the studies they gave was on uh, giving away, uh, being, uh, uh, helping out with the poor, or doing something beyond yourself that had no, remun re uh, no uh, return to yourself. And every time that they did that, they found out that when we receive stuff, there are four pleasure centers of, of our brain that light up. So if we get a gift or we win the lottery or whatever that is, those four areas of our brain light up. But when we do something that's truly altruistic, truly giving to some other person who is in need and not receiving anything back or giving to a cause that we believe in and have nothing come back to us, everything going away, we give away our hard-earned money for something that we believe in. They found that five centers, not just the normal four, but an additional center lit up. Five pleasure centers as opposed to four pleasure centers. And here's what's crazy. Two years later, they would ask them about the event of getting a brand, that brand new car, and none of the pleasure centers lit up. But when they asked them about that way that they helped that crippled child or the giving uh, to make a difference in Cambodia, all five of the pleasure centers would light up as they retold the story of that event in the same way they did two years before. What they found out is what Scripture said all along. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Scientifically, our body reacts to giving in a way that blesses others, in a way that it doesn't react even when we receive ourselves. How do we use that knowledge? Maybe we can stumble on happiness. Maybe we can honor God's word. Maybe we can make a difference. Let's pray. Father, Lord, as we read this passage, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It is something that financially doesn't roll back to us, but the reward is even greater than getting stuff. Lord, help us to lay hold of that truth. Let us apply it to our lives and let us be truly fulfilled. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, want to be more blessed? I'll see you tomorrow.